The latest on the investigation of Missouri Governor Eric Greitens All Times Local, 10.15 p.m. An attorney for a legislative committee investigating Missouri Gov. Eric Greitens says the House will subpoena his campaign staffers. Former Missouri Supreme Court Chief Justice Edward Chip Roberts and Jr.'s Wednesday pledge for more subpoenas came after an attorney for Greitens' campaign criticized the House investigation for not doing enough to get the campaign side of the story. The committee on Wednesday released a report that said Greitens used a donor list from a veterans charity for political fundraising. The committee chairman says the list was taken without permission from the charity. Greitens campaign attorney Catherine Hanaway on Wednesday said the committee didn't give the campaign a chance to be heard, although the House report included attorney general depositions of people who worked on the campaign at the time. Greitens faces a felony charge of tampering with computer data related to the claims, underscore 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 5.45 p.m. The chairman of a House committee investigating Missouri Gov. Eric Greitens says the fellow Republican took advantage of a veterans charity he founded. Jay Barnes in a Wednesday statement said a review by the committee found a donor list from the Mission Continues was taken without its permission and used, inappropriately, for political gain. Greitens founded the Mission Continues. A report released by Barnes' committee says Greitens signed an agreement in 2012 not to disclose confidential information about the charity's donors. A list of top donors was created in May 2014 for Greitens to call to explain his plans to step down as CEO. The report says Greitens later used that list to raise money for his 2016 gubernatorial campaign. Campaign attorney Catherine Hanaway on Wednesday called it a minor campaign finance issue. Greitens faces a felony charge of tampering with computer data related to the allegations. Underscore 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 5.15 p.m. A lawyer for Missouri Gov. Eric Greitens' campaign is defending a decision to list a former aide as having provided a charity donor list that was later used for campaign fundraising. Attorney Catherine Hanaway says former aide Daniel Lobb had a donor list from the Mission Continues before the campaign was formed. Hanaway's comment was a response to a House report in which Lobb said he was deceived by campaign aide Austin Chambers into being listed in an Ethics Commission settlement as providing the charity a donor list to the Greitens campaign. Lobb says that's false. Chambers says Lobb's account of events is absolutely untrue and called Lobb a disgruntled former employee. Greitens faces a felony tampering with computer data charge for allegedly disclosing the list to his political fundraiser in 2015 without the charity's permission. Underscore 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 3.40 p.m. The leader of the Missouri House Democrats says Republican Governor Eric Greitens stole from a charity for veterans and must resign or be impeached. A report released Wednesday by a House investigatory committee says Greitens signed an agreement in 2012 not to disclose confidential information about donors to a veterans charity he founded. But the report says he later used a donor list from the Mission Continues to raise money for his gubernatorial campaign. House Minority Leader Gail McCann Beatty in a Wednesday statement says Greitens is utterly lacking in the moral authority necessary to effectively govern, he has previously said he won't step down. Republican House Speaker Todd Richardson tasked the committee with making a recommendation on possible action against Greitens, but the report doesn't draw conclusions about impeachment, underscore 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 3.05 p.m. A legislative report is shedding new light on how Missouri Gov. Eric Greitens obtained a donor list from a veterans charity he founded and used it for his political campaign. The report released Wednesday by a House investigatory committee says Greitens signed an agreement in 2012 not to disclose confidential information about donors to the mission continues. A list of top donors was created in May 2014 for Greitens to call to explain his plans to step down as CEO. But the report says Greitens later used that list to raise money for his gubernatorial campaign. The report says a former Greitens campaign aide testified he was deceived into being listed in an Ethics Commission settlement as providing the charity donor list to Greitens campaign. The aide says that's false. Underscore 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 2.45 p.m. St. Louis prosecutors are asking the judge in Missouri Gov. Eric Greitens invasion of privacy case to use the state's rape shield law as a guide in the governor's upcoming trial. Greitens is accused of taking a compromising and unauthorized photo of a woman with whom he had an affair in 2015, before he was elected. His trial begins May 14. In a court filing Tuesday, Robert Dierker of the prosecutor's office says that although there is no rape allegation in the case, the statute should serve as a guide in limiting evidence about the woman's previous sexual conduct and counseling or psychiatric history. 
Graham's attorneys have asked Judge Rex Burleson to prohibit the woman from testifying at all, saying her testimony is tainted by missteps of investigator William Tisabi, whom they've accused of lying to the court. Underscore 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 12.30 p.m. A special committee of the Missouri House is set to release a report on its investigation into Gov. Eric Graham's use of a charity donor list for fundraising during his 2016 gubernatorial campaign. The House Special Investigative Committee on Oversight say the report will be released at 3 p.m. Wednesday. The Republican governor is facing calls for impeachment. He goes to trial May 14 on an invasion of privacy charge stemming from an extramarital affair in 2015, before he was elected. The woman told the same House committee in an earlier report that Greitens was so sexually aggressive that she was sometimes left afraid and crying. Greitens was charged last month with computer data tampering for allegedly obtaining the donor list from the veterans charity he founded and using it for his political campaign without the charity's permission. Greitens denies wrongdoing in both cases, calling himself a victim of a political witch hunt, underscore 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 10 a.m. Missouri House Democrats are demanding that the Republican leadership launch immediate impeachment proceedings against Gov. Eric Greitens, accusing the GOP of stalling. A letter Tuesday to House Speaker Todd Richardson signed by 16 Democrats requests immediate action to remove Greitens from office. The Republican governor goes on trial May 14 on an invasion of privacy charge in St. Louis. He is accused of taking a compromising and unauthorized photo of a woman with whom he had an affair in 2015. Calls for impeachment escalated last month after a House committee released testimony in which the woman accused Greitens of coercing her into sex acts and slapping and spanking her. Greitens faces a second charge accusing him of using a charity donor list for his gubernatorial campaign.